Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I wanted to share with something uh, that I just found out in Excel 2013. So this is only 2013. I tried it in 2010 and it does not work. Uh, but a new feature that you have in 2013 is leader lines in a line chart. So I'm assuming in lots of different charts. Uh, so if I went and highlighted in this data set, went up to my insert ribbon, and I went to a line chart, and let's just choose any line chart, but I'll do this one with markers uh, because it just shows the data a little bit better. Let me expand that out, um, and what I want to do is click anywhere in my chart, go up to my design ribbon, and then in the design ribbon, check, click on add chart element, and under data labels, you'll see that there's all these different data label choices um, but the last one, more data label options, you'll notice the default when you choose that is show leader lines. This was not available in 2010 or 2007, so it's a new addition for a line chart. So only time I ever saw this was in a pie chart, so I've never looked for it before. But let's show you what that does. In your chart, if you click on any one of these labels, like 86,825, it's sitting on the line. You may want to pull it away. You can just click on it, drag and drop, and it creates that leader line there. So any one of your labels, anytime you move it, if you've got the label options, leader line, show leader lines checked, it will have it like I unchecked it and I rechecked it, and you can see those leader lines. Once again, like I said, this was only available in pie charts before. So let's go and change our chart types. Let's change our chart type. And then instead, we're going to do columns. Um, and we'll just pick any old column chart type. Uh, and look, leader lines are still there as an option. Uh, let's try area. Um, click on OK. Area, same thing. It looks like leader lines, maybe. Let's see. Yep, leader lines. Still working with there. Um, so these were only available on pie charts before. I haven't tried all of this. I'm just kind of doing this new. Uh, I'm not sure if some of these other ones will work. Let's try a radar chart. Uh, and look, it does do it with a, uh, a um, radar chart as well. So something interesting and kind of cool usually uh, wouldn't work. Um, and you can see I cannot choose the surface, 3D surface type. Maybe that I just don't have the right data in here. Um, it's not letting me choose that. Same thing with stock. XY scatter. Uh, looks like the leader lines are still there, which is really good. Um, and um, area bar chart, of course, we've uh, very similar to columns, so it shouldn't change. And as always, it's always been available on a pie chart. So in case you're looking for leader lines, they're not always used. I haven't always looked for them, but if you're creating charts with lots of data sets, like see 77,000 is inside here, I can click on it, click on the label again, and then just get those crosshairs and drag and drop. So this one right here, click on it, grab those crosshairs, drag and drop. Hey, my leader lines aren't working for that one. What's up with that? Let's go back to the chart elements, do our data labels, and uh, let's check and see. It says show leader lines. I wonder why it's not showing that one. Maybe I found another bug in Excel, huh? Uh, possibly. Anyway, uh, let me know. Do you use leader lines in your Excel charts? Let me know in the comments below, and hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, if so, also consider subscribing to my video channel so you're sure to get the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.